Welcome to a Code Report Solution video. In this video, we're going to be covering the solution to the problem entitled Fancy Quotes from the Code Chef January 2019 Long Challenge. The problem states, Chef was reading some quotes by great people. Now he is interested in classifying all the fancy quotes he knows. He thinks that all fancy quotes which contain the word not are real fancy. Quotes that do not contain it are regularly fancy. You are given some quotes. For each quote, you need to tell Chef if it is real fancy or just regularly fancy. For each test case, print a single line containing the string real fancy or regularly fancy without quotes. And the constraints for this problem are that we are going to be given t, the test cases between 1 and 50, and uh, the string or the length of our string is going to be between uh, 1 and 100. And note that each of the characters in our string s will be lowercase. So originally I wasn't going to cover this problem because I thought it was just pretty straightforward implementation, but then I noticed that uh, the accuracy for this problem was uh, 45.99%. So I'm pretty sure this is the number of attempts successful or the successful attempts out of total attempts, not the number of people who successfully solved it out of uh, the total of number of people that attempted it. So I think this is just lower because it took people a couple uh, times to get this correct. But at the end of the day, I think most people did uh, solve it. Um, but that being said, just in case there were some people that weren't able to solve this, um, let's walk through it. So here are some examples, or the examples that Code Chef provided us with. We have two sentences, or two quotes, and it says that the first one is real fancy, and the second one is regularly fancy. And that's because in the first sentence, we have the word not, but in the second sentence, we don't. Now note that uh, they've sort of cleverly put the same characters in the second string to be not, but this is not, um, no pun intended, uh, the word not. It is just a, a substring of the word uh, nothing. So we have to make sure that we're sort of checking for the spaces on either side. So this is a corner case, um, but there are three other corner cases that you need to check for. So this is, in my opinion, just a really irritating problem. Um, it doesn't take much brain power to solve it. Uh, you just need to figure out what are all the corner cases. So let's walk through all of them. Uh, so like I said, the first one is that we need to be checking for spaces on either side, but that's when the not is in the middle of our sentence. The One of the other corner cases is when not is at the start. So here we need to be checking for uh, not with a space. Um, and for, for another corner case, we need to check for not at the end, which is a space before the not. And we also need to check when the string is just a single word, and that is not. So once you have checked for all four of these corner cases, not at the beginning with a space, not at the end with a space before, and single knot, and then knot with spaces on either side in the middle, uh, we can solve this problem. So like I said, it's not too difficult, but you just need to figure out what these four corner cases are. Um, or I guess this isn't really a corner case, this is just the main case, but you have to test it correctly. So let's take a look at our code. So here is our main function for our C++ solution. We're reading in T the number of test cases, then we're reading in uh, S once to sort of just clear the buffer here, and then uh, for each test case, we're reading in our string S with get line so that we can get the whole line and not just a word at a time. And then we make a call to is fancy, and if it is fancy, we output real fancy, and if not, we output regularly fancy. So taking a look at our is fancy function, uh, we're using a deduce function return type, but this is just going to be a boolean, and we're passing in our string uh, by const reference. And the first thing we're doing is we're setting a local variable n to be equal to the size of the string, and then we're just checking one by one our four cases. So uh, at first we're checking is s equal to not, so this is one of the corner cases. And then the three other cases we're checking are, first we're checking that our string length is greater than or equal to four, so that we're not getting an uh, index out of bounds error. And then our first corner case is uh, when the substring uh, at the beginning is equal to not with a space after it. Uh, the next one is when we're looking at the end. So we're starting at the fourth last character and then looking at the next four, and that's equal to a space followed by not. And then our sort of main case where we're searching throughout the string uh, for a not with spaces on either side and finding that that exists. So if any of these four cases are met, we return true, otherwise we return false, and that's all there is to it. So taking a look at one other solution, which is our Python solution, very similar, reading in T, and then for each T, uh, reading in S, make sure that you uh, call this dot strip method, otherwise it's going to include sort of the end of line character, and that's going to make um, trying to figure out uh, if not exists at the end very difficult. 
Um, and then based on this is fancy function that is using camel case instead of snake case for the Python solution, uh, we output real fancy or regularly fancy. Taking a look at the is fancy function for the Python solution, it looks very similar. So storing a local n to be the length of our string s, checking if it's equal to not, uh, and then checking if n is greater than or equal to 4. If uh, the beginning is equal to not space, the end is equal to space not, or if not exists in our string s. So note that for the uh, substring um, notation here, we're using the bracket operators. And uh, for the beginning, you can just leave this blank, or if you want, you can put a zero there as well. Uh, and then put four for the first four characters. If you want to go from the end, you can just leave uh, the right side of the colon blank, and then on the left side, put negative however many characters you want. So once again, this will return true if it meets any of these four conditions and false otherwise. So the last thing to talk about is the time complexity, which for this problem is going to be uh, t times n, where n is the length of our string. So we have t test cases, and each of the first, um, or I guess this one, yeah, each of the first three are going to be constant uh, because you're only checking uh, three here, and you're only checking four characters, and that doesn't depend on the length of the string. But for our last case where we're going not in s or in our C++ where we went s dot find, this is a linear time solution. So big O of t times n. As always, if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, hit that like button. If you want to see more, make sure to hit that subscribe button. You can follow me on Twitter for reminders 30 minutes before contests start, and you can find all of the code shown in my videos on my GitHub page. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.